There is a battle underway to fight a quickly spreading insect that's damaging and destroying Pennsylvania's state tree, the hemlock. A business in Scranton has found a natural way to destroy the hemlock killer, and it involves raising and releasing a different kind of bug. Here's News Watch 16's John Meyer with this week's Power to Save. Workers at a lab in South Scranton are building an army, an army of beetles. Crates throughout the facility recreate their battle zone, the branches of hemlock trees. All these little white cotton ball sacks here, all up and down the tree. This is the enemy. Those cotton ball like sacks hold the woolly adelgid, a serious problem for the Pennsylvania state tree. The bug is native to Japan with no natural foe in the U.S. They've actually just taken advantage of the warmth and have flourished. So there's more woolly adelgid than ever before. Everywhere I've gone this year and parts of last year have been either really, really infested or just starting to get it. So we are in a real, we have a real problem here. But these little guys are woolly adelgid killers, what's commonly called the ST beetle the soldier in the battle to save hemlocks. The problem is this business called tree savers has to raise those ST beetles themselves. They're the natural enemy of the woolly adelgid in Japan, but not common in the U.S. These beetles, when they get out there, all they eat is woolly adelgid, and they can't even reproduce without eating woolly adelgid, so it's a perfect balance. After the beetles are raised here, landowners pay tree savers to bring them to kill the woolly adelgid on their hemlock trees. Whatever we go, actually, we say, look at that tree, it's actually safe. We have to do something about it. This is one of the properties where tree savers put those little beetles to work. And the homeowner here in Clark Summit says they did their job. They've done a good job and uh, they're great environmentally. Ralph Minori didn't want to use chemicals to kill the woolly adelgid. He said paying $700 for beetles to save and continue to protect nearly a dozen hemlocks was worth it. You don't want to lose these trees. No, 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 no. They're, they're really not replaceable because to almost 50 years growth on some of them. It's a battle of bugs. Tree Savers hopes its beetles win. John Meyer, Newswatch 16, Scranton.